welcome back to another video so on here this is all wheel drive versus rear wheel drive part two in this video we are doing it with a tuning setup on so as you can see my absolute pe uh, personal best in rear wheel in, sorry my absolute personal best in all wheel drive is 169,221 so we're going to do this with a tuning setup now now tuning setup what i am using for this is my own tuning setup and i have got this on the storefront so if you can see like what i'm doing now i'll put my gamer tag in in the creator to find it then it will bring up all my tuning setups now i've got two different tuning setups for all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive as you can see on the screen ones with abs off and ones with abs on um so if you drift with abs on use that one if you drift with abs off use that one so i'm gonna let this video roll out and i'll be back on the rear wheel drive
But as you can see now, I've got 166,524 um, with a tuning setup. Now, keep in mind my personal best round here. I did that in three or four laps. Um, so this is just a one a one lap go. So now we're going to jump into rear wheel drive. And as you can see on here, my uh, personal best of rear wheel drive is 173,393. Now, again, with this, my tuning setup is on the storefront. So if you go through create a type in my game, a tag, then you'll find the rear wheel drive tuning setup on the storefront as well. And the same applies with this for ABS on, uh, ABS on and ABS off, um, depending on which one you, uh, depends whether you use ABS or not. So yeah, I'm going to let this roll, then we'll come back at the end of the video with the conclusion.
So rear wheel drive tuned, I got 169,919. And my personal best is 173,393. But again, keep in mind my personal best on rear wheel drive. I did that in three or four laps, whereas this I did it in one lap. So the difference between rear wheel drive and all wheel drive in this video is 3,395. That's how much rear wheel drive beats all wheel drive. Now, when it comes to personal best, um, rear wheel drive beats all wheel drive by 4,172. And when it comes to the absolute best on the game, or it's in first place, um, rear wheel drive beats all wheel drive by 3,932. So on Forza Motorsport 7, you can actually get a lot more points in rear wheel drive to what you can actually get in all wheel drive. So that this is kind of what I expected because rear wheel drive in Forza Motorsport 7 and in Forza in general is a lot easier to drift than all wheel drive. Ever since I brought drift springs out in the game, um, rear wheel drive is tremendous, well, a lot easier than all wheel drive. Now, don't get me wrong, you can get good points in all wheel drive and you can drift really well in all wheel drive. But when it comes to points drifting, you can just get a lot more points in rear wheel drive to what you can in all wheel drive. And that just comes down to the physics in the game and everything like that. So this kind of, like I say, it's a lot of people in the community says all wheel drives get the, the most amount of points, but according to the leaderboards and according to what I got in this video, it states otherwise. And personally, I find rear wheel drive is a lot enjoyable than all wheel drive as well um so yeah just sound off in the comment section below um to what everyone else thinks to this but yeah thank you for watching and take care